name's Fred. Well, today I'm going to be talking about the history of tea. Well, today, tea is a drink that is in the top two of the drinks that are hardly used every year. It's just after water. Well, in the past, tea is just a drink that some people, such as kings and queens, drinks. But now, these days, even a farmer can consume these for fun. Well, let's talk about the history of tea and the way of the tea to the king's drinks now. Well, in the past, by legend, people say that there once was a farmer who had poisoned himself when he's searching for food. But then, suddenly, a leaf of a special kind of plant that people called it the tea plant comes inside his mouth and he chewed it. And that makes him to stay alive. Well, that's just a legend. Nobody knows if it's true or not, but it still shows about what is tea like. Tea is tea comes from leaves, such as this. You can see that it comes from dry leaf, broken down to pieces, and then cooked into tea these days. When you open the box of tea, you could usually see dried leaves, the waterways of the tea. Or sometimes when you pour the tea into a cup, you'll see that there's some pieces of dry leaves in, right? Now that wouldn't be too shocking for me to hear. Also, when the first time when Farmers started to plant teas. The drink have get consumed by some people as foreigners or pioneers. And suddenly in the Europe place, they started to build some of the fastest boats that have ever sailed through the ocean just to take out the tea from China. In the past, it's just China who sells and rolls tea. But now these days, you can find it anywhere. Tea is also really, really recommended. Because in the past, people think that tea is just a drink that's really, really luxury. But a lot have think that tea also is a really, really healthy drink. It comes from leaves, and this is really, really easy to roll. Like now, there could be some other countries who sell tea too. People in the past definitely things about an a kind things about variety kinds of teas that have different flavors and different uses. Some of them have a bitter have more bitter taste while some taste sweeter or some taste yummy for some people. A lot of people now love tea and consume it every day. My uncle is a person who really likes to drink tea. He could drink tea whenever he can. In the morning, just drinking a cup of tea also really helps you to warm up your stomach and your mouth too. Drinking tea is nothing wrong at all, but also something that's really good for you. In the past, people just keep spreading and spreading tea to all of the worlds. That now, these days, we still have teas that's called mocha or in English as matcha. The ring tea. Ring tea is a really, really high recommended kind of tea, but not really, really common to some houses. Some, they just use the ordinary kind of tea. They just use the original one. But these days, some people house just drink ring teas. 
and a lot of people now prefer green tea over usual tea. I don't know why, but I just think that both of them are really, really yummy. Also, tea is a really, really, really easy plant to grow for some places. But in other places, they can't grow tea at all because their weathers and the amount of land they have. Usually, when you go through a field of tea, you see that there's full of tea. There's just some path left for farmers to walk to take care of the teas, and the tea could be fulfill, could fulfill the whole field. Now, a lot of people are selling tea, and making tea was not something that's easy to do at all. You must get the leaves. Dried it. Some even have to put in varieties of materials to make it into some kinds of tea, like such as green tea or matcha. And those are really, really appreciated by me. I really, really love teas like that because they just taste so amazing. And also the hard work of them pays. Hard work pays for it. You can see that because of those hardworking peoples, we have get drink that today from kids to adults. Some of them could still is a fan of tea. I'm just a kid, but I love tea so much. But what about you? Is there anything that you want to share about tea? The second. Highly consumed drink just after water. I love to hear that. Now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye.